Hello, students. I'm going to just share with you my screen for a bit. Oh. This lesson is rainbow fish in the pond, and the standards are develop turn taking and negotiating skills. Be helpful member of a group or a household through sharing tasks or chores. Develop and maintain friends friendships with peers. Students will be able to identify the characteristics of a good friend. Students will be able to practice being a good friend to other students will have a deeper understanding of friendship. Students have will have a deeper understanding of what it means to share. And my materials and supplies needed are finger paints and associated cut of paint brushes, scrap paper, poster board, a sheet of miniature stickers for each child, pencils, paper plates, Google AIs, and the rainbow fish. I will show the students a video about how to share. And the video is right over here, so if you want to click on it, you can. Hello, students. My name is Miss Nassim, and I'm going to be reading the rainbow fish today. What is your favorite kind of fish do you like? What is sharing? Sharing means to give of something with another or others. First up, I will read. I will be reading the book, The Rainbow Fish, which I have the book, so let me go get it for you guys. The Rainbow Fish my, by Marcus Fitzer. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Spinkster Fitzer. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, was with spiking silver scales among them. The other fish was amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call, come and play with us. Which is play is like having fun with others. But Rainbow Fish would just glide past and glide past proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, she called. Wait for me. Please give me one of, the, of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want to, me to give you one of my scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me, shark. The little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He he told all his friends he had what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good are the dazzling shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am 
I really am beautiful. Why does it anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef, coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe he, she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was a very dark, in, dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Ah. Uh, I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of your other of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started, started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared in, into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never. I couldn't, I could, I, how could I ever be happy without them? So he felt the, Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish waved only one very, very small shimmering scale. He thought, well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tossed the Chinese scale in among his blue ones. A rather particular feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scales glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he, he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he and at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession he had been given away. Yet, he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, the yell, come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The so I have questions for you about the part of the book. Second step, I will be asking questions about the book. The first question from the book is, why isn't rainbow fish playing with the other fish? The second question from the book is, is rainbow fish selfish?
The third question from the book, why is the little blue fish upset? Did you like the book that we just, that we read today? For this activity, place a large poster in front of the children, which is, I'm gonna put, I am going to have the students close their eyes and think about this question. Next, the children are going to grab the large poster, the large poster board. Um, for this activity, a large poster board, place a large poster board in front of the children. I will ask a question, what does a good friend look like to the students? I am going I am going to have the students look, close their eyes and think about this question. The students playing may take them to the thought of a good friend of the students. Next, the students are going to grab the large poster board, the paint brushes, the finger paint and the paper plates. Then the students are going to squeeze the finger paint on the, on the paper plate. The students, the students are going to stick their hand on the finger paint. On the finger paint, I'm going to paint their hand with the paint brushes. The students are going to lay their hand on the large poster brush. Last, the students are going to put the googly eyes on the painting. If you need help, I will help you. What is your favorite part of this lesson that we did today? Great job on the lesson, students. What did you learn about today's lesson? Do you know how to share and, and to be a good friend? I will let the students give themselves a round of applause for trying their best on this lesson plan. What things do you what things you need to do next lesson. Thank you for participating in the rainbow fish, rainbow fish on the pond. And I hope you had fun with me and your classmates. We will take, we will now take a five minute break. Then we'll gonna have a eating break. So take out your lunch boxes. So we're gonna have lunch. See you next class. Well, this is our last lesson for today. So we're gonna, so it's about to be summer. So have a good summer and see, see you next year. Bye.